Buddy, you better. Go watch it when we're done doing this. Okay, when we're. Yeah, as soon as we're done doing this, we'll watch it, okay? You're gonna Roxy, break go. A hip, Bailey. Go. Lay down, buddy. Go that way. Lay down, dude. Come here, Roxy. Oh, man. Roxy, come. And this is our everyday. You can't, you can't script this at all. all right. What's that? Hello, Finn. Come here, are you joining us? Tell, what did you do to your sister? Come here, dogs. All right, so we're telling them about the race. Can you tell them about the race cars? Race car. <laughs> Very good. Um, was it loud? Yeah. How loud was it? Um, super loud. Super loud. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Did they did it make your chest shake? Were you like? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. Wow. I guess Roxy just. Well, this, you know, I mean, we well, yeah. featured everybody else in the family except for the dogs. Okay. Yes, you're right. Hi, this is Roxy. Roxy, say hello to the camera. Say hi. She has a lazy ear. <laughs> it's her cute. Don't stare. She's self-conscious. She's, she's all business on one side. It's all party on the other. And all party on the other. <sighs> yeah, your hair always looks nice and mine. Mine looks like a mess. At least you have hair. It's true. <laughs> I just pushed you out of the picture. That's what it's about, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. How about that a little bit? Oh, that's so much better. So much better. All right, so we wanted to give a quick shout out to um, We're Off Our Rockers from Andover, New York. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, for your continued support. All right, hi everybody. Hello again. Um, so this week's adventure was a little different for us. Yeah. It was probably not what people would expect us to do. I don't think at this point anybody <laughs> expects us to do anything that's normal or typical. That's true. So yeah, this week we decided to go to the NHRA Dodge Nationals being held uh, outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. Yep, we were race fans. And it was fun. It was a good time. The racetrack is actually located in um, Berks County, Pennsylvania. And the area is really pretty, very nice, um, rolling hills. Uh, but there's not a lot around the racetrack. No. A couple campgrounds. Um, a lot of people just camp in their um, motorhomes or campers at the racetrack. But um, we found a place that's basically, what, five minutes down the road to eat yeah. lunch before we headed over. And let me tell you what. It was really good. It's Texas style barbecue, and my family's actually from Texas, so I'm a little bit of a fan of anything Texas style. So we ate lunch at Stampede Barbecue in Plowville. Plowville. Plowville, Pennsylvania. It's a huge metropolis of yeah, a town. You wouldn't even know you passed through it, actually. But. Like I said, it's a few minutes from the racetrack, so it's a great place to either catch lunch before the races or after, catch dinner. The food was amazing, and they're a family-owned local company. They just opened probably, what, three, four months ago? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think what I'd heard was previous to that, they had like a food truck or food trailer um, that, that actually was where they got their popularity. So. Jim, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is their food? Oh, it's a 10. Very good. Like, this is... I'm no connoisseur for barbecue, but I'm, I'm a little particular. They they did it. They nailed it. Cindy, do you like it? What did you get, babe? Barbecue ribs with fried with ketchup. So, after that, we headed over to the racetrack, and we weren't quite sure if Finn was going to like it because... Um, some of the race cars aren't too loud, but the nitro top fuel cars, um, as Sydney described it, it makes your chest shake. <laughs> You'll notice a distinct absence of Sydney in this film <laughs> today because it, it, she didn't like that. She didn't like the way it made her feel. So rather than torture our child, no, we, we told her you know, she didn't have to go. So she, did, she decided to stay back with some, uh, with some family and didn't go on this adventure with us. But. Yeah, and... It really does make your chest shake. Um, the, it, the, the power behind these things, I, the video is not going to do it justice, no. but um, the 
big funny cars and all the top fuel cars, they go a, over 300 miles an hour. The top fuels do for yeah. sure, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that might not mean anything to you, but that's pretty fast. about it though is the pits the access you can get what's really neat about this and again being kind of new to the nhra fan base um i had no idea what to expect last year when when we had gone and you can you can walk right up to these drivers to these you know these famous people these uh these athletes and you can you can strike up a conversation with them you can get their autographs you can get pictures with them and they're all very accommodating for the most part i mean they're all they have a job to do too they're there for a reason right. but they they love their fans and they do a great job of showing that we had a little husband wife competition oh yeah that didn't uh, go so well changing oil i'd like to point out just for the record i mean and not that it's a big deal I do change the oil like in our car. I yeah, maintain he, he our really vehicles. does. And I do a good job of it. I don't usually like. But forget. maybe like I don't usually, competitive oil changing. Okay. Would not be. I don't usually forget to put the drain plug in things. thing you're talking about was how I beat you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But so that's okay. I wouldn't normally forget to put a drain plug in the drain pan and the oil pan, but I did. So did. I lost that competition. I was a little slower, but sometimes what is the saying with the something worm gets the the early bird? No. Wow. <laughs> What? Just, the sword just, is in the hair. Just, <laughs> There's some sort you know of what? analogy. Let's <laughs> just try that one again. Something about the tortoise. Moral part. <laughs> That's okay, Jess. Don't worry about it. Let's just let's the stop all your head. Just, just stop all your head. <laughs> okay. I was slower, Slow but I remember. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Thank you. You knew that all the time. And you were holding out. It was kind of fun to watch it. Show. <laughs> yes. So I was slow, but I actually remembered everything, so. We have to go wrangle a toddler. Somebody give Mo yellow. That's true, we did. <laughs> Proud race sponsor of the NHRA. It was a free sample. I like know. This big. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.